Okay, this was the first sales book I ever created. My sales staff to go out and start talking me up, building up the business. This is now online and smaller <laughs> because this cost like 60 bucks to print each one of these. And of course, they never give them back after they're done. Oh, I should probably go through some of this. Huh? That would be helpful. We offer wholesale rates to small businesses and individuals, which no one else in the industry offers. Our team is comprised of the spirit of American entre entrepreneurs that this country was founded upon. That's what's close to my heart. <clears throat> my mother was an entrepreneur, and the founders of this country were all pioneer spirit. We genuinely care about small businesses lasting in America. Our vendors are in America. We keep America's money in America as much as we possibly can to support our neighbors. We love what we do, and we are a low-maintenance and low-overhead company. Intentionally staying small since 1990, we give more than we charge, simply because we believe it's the right thing to do. In college, I saw flaws in the system and desired to change the way things are done for the better. I think creatively outside the box, but with a strong business and accounting background, so I see the big picture. I have been seeking out the best quality for the lowest price for many years, so you will get all the benefits of my trials, experience, and industry ad agency rates. It is also how and why we can offer these benefits to my clients. Our services are totally unique. We offer more than most other people would or could offer, not just other competitors. Deeper insights into what makes us different. No retail markups. This is something I believe in firmly. We believe in extending wholesale rates to our clients without retail markups because we make money off the services we offer, not off made-up profit margins. We charge what we believe is right. We offer way more than we charge for because we have the knowledge, skills, and resources to help our clients easily. This helps our clients gain a lot more than we would have earned by inflating fees. Old-fashioned values. I make friends out of clients who stand by me forever while we all make money the old-fashioned way, the right way. We are very open about our prices, so there are never any surprises or hidden charges. All-inclusive. When I say all-inclusive, I mean all-inclusive. There's not going to be any hidden fees. And stress-free. I have now capitalized these things. Um, stress-free projects. Everything we do is all-inclusive, so there are never any surprises, you see? We have packages for all-inclusive, stress-free projects from start to finish because we are the experts. Industry secrets save you money. I negotiate the cheapest rates because I know how the print production techniques work to save you money. And we deal with the printers every step of the way so there's no stress for clients, which was something that I realized in um, college as I started to do freelance and saw the gap <laughs> in the industry with graphic designers giving out really cool portfolio pieces that clients had to go scramble with printers to try and get them printed and the printers wanted way too much money so then these other designers called print production designers had to come in and get paid extra to fix the job in order to make it printable for the price the client could afford to pay absolutely the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of completely inefficient and waste of time and money and it accomplishes nothing for anyone except that the graphic designer and the printer make money while the client suffers. No, 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 no. So we negotiate the cheapest rates, and this is completely unlike other designers, for half the price. We offer ad agency benefits without ad agency prices. The way that I do this, the, the way that I set this whole niche up, is that as a wholesale printer, as a print broker, I get cheaper rates I don't pay retail. I get cheaper rates than you can get. 
and then I extend those rates to you and I charge you my graphic design fees there's a little tiny fee for the time that's spent in uploading the files and dealing with the printers and stuff but because it's all done very efficiently and with templates and in a system that I've created that's so online friendly and just fully automated online system is what I call it that's what I now call it um, it's very very efficient so I don't have to charge much for that either so uh, it's absolutely just amazing and I keep the lowest overhead any employees that work for me work on commission the commission that they get is based on the work they actually do the price I get paid is based on the work I actually do and the price the printers get is lower because it's the price they already have agreed with me that they're going to accept and also um, it's because I know these little techniques like you want foil but you don't have the money to pay for foil so then you use aquafoil instead and I set the job up for aquafoil not for regular foil so you save money and I use a printer that does that type of printing instead of the other type of printing so you save money so you just save four hundred dollars on a really cool project just because I know that it's a bunch of things like that all rolled into one. Um, I'm not going to read all that. That's just my history, and you can look me up all over Google and all over my websites and find out all about me. That's also interest, I mean, information about my business, same thing. You can look that up. Um, this tells case studies. Um, this is in the book. I'm not going to read this either. But basically the summary of this is, because I have a business background as well, um, <clears throat> business and marketing, when you talk to me and you get your projects done through me, even though you get it done online, this is something people don't seem to understand, I'm very hands-on. I'm very much for the small business. I want you to make money. I want your business to succeed. When your business looks good and when your business succeeds, that looks good for me because I helped you. So that benefits me, and that benefits you, and it, it's a win-win. Um, so when we're talking, and you're telling me things that are going on with your business, and you're telling me things that are stressful for you, and problems that you're having, and inefficient areas that are, you know, things that are going on with your business, or if, as I'm watching things, or as I'm learning about things, I'm going to be giving suggestions. That's part of what I do. I'm an efficiency expert. I'm very focused on things and I just have an insane amount of knowledge in my head because this is what I've been doing for so long while everyone else is out doing other things I'm at home working and reading and learning and studying and building on this business um, so virtual offices you know is a good way to save money um, just um, this was, uh, this. he actually has a um, testimonial on my website. So if you go to recommendations, kristamaylee.com, um, recommendations, it, you can read his testimonial. I'll just let Frank say it. A um, bunch of different things I do and some testimonials that people said are on the website as well. Um, some clients and vendors. Um, a little bit about what I do, business consulting, that's what I was just telling you, organizational setup, bookkeeping, quality management, systems development. These are, I'm not just a graphic designer. Even my own mother doesn't understand this. I'm not just a graphic designer. I'm not just a website developer. I do a lot of different things, but basically it's small business development. And I'm involved in a lot of different facets of it because I've had my own businesses. As a child, my mom had her own businesses. I've worked for a bunch of different businesses. And I have tons of clients that I've helped start their businesses and make their businesses more profitable and more successful. It, international, national, local, all different types of businesses. Big, small, everything. So <clears throat> I can definitely help you. Customer service. Um... I believe everyone is a customer, like a ripple effect to everyone else. It, it isn't just that my customers are customers. Everyone is a customer. Um, work is the place to get things done. Our perception of our reality is our reality, so think positive. 
um, just a bunch of different philosophies. This is, you know, a little bit about how I ended up working so much. I, I went to college for five hours a day, and then I, and I worked all day. I mean, I'm sorry, I went to college for five hours a night, and I worked all day. Um, these are my art projects. You can look at kristinmaylee.com to see more about that. Um, this is uh, not something I'm pushing on iconicon.com anymore. They're separate businesses now because they've all become more successful. So they kind of need their own. Um, logo design projects, $50 an hour. Um, <clears throat> I have, since this book was created, I've changed the way the logos are set up so that now you can choose if you only want to get, instead of 25, if you want to get 6, 12, I forget how it goes after that, but the price is based on that, and it starts as low as $75. It just means that my time is, I'm getting paid less because I'm creating less. I used to do a very intensive, this is like a 24-hour project, like a 18 to 24-hour project to do a, a real logo development project. <clears throat> and I give all future use files, which other designers don't do. And they're just starting to now. It's been maybe 10 years since I started doing that, and they're just starting to do that now. Um, but all of these files have their own purposes, and different printers will ask you for a different type of file. So say, for example, you want to get embroidery. An embroidery printer is going to need a vector file. Um, you're going to get a website, you're going to need a JPEG, or you're going to need a PSD so that they can have no background or so that they just have a small web file. Um, depending on what you're doing, you know, sometimes a high-res JPEG, which is 300 DPI, is a print job, and sometimes, always, you never would use a 72 DPI web file for printing because it would come out all pixelated and horrible, blurry and just looking awful. Um, so, you get all those future use files when you order a logo through me. That way you don't have to go back later and pay somebody else to recreate something. It's already done. Um, custom websites, the prices for these have changed now. The custom websites are still 205 a page, I think, but the template, because now I've been doing this so long, the template pages are one something a page. And form pages are only 150. They used to be 350. But now I've got everything set up to be more template based and more, um, you know, efficient. So because I've got it set up to be more efficient for me time wise, that means I can save you more money. Um, these are those cards I was telling you about that I did not have a sample of in there. I do have another sample book that's an actual flip book, it's got to be in that suitcase over there somewhere. Um, these are on metallic paper. Oh, I can show you that paper. Actually, this might show you the classic linen paper, too. Because this is a linen. Yeah, you could probably see this really well. Okay, these cards were printed on this gold paper. It's a star, you see? That's a linen paper. You can see the lines pretty well there. Yeah, you can see the linen. That's beautiful. So that shows you the cross hatching. Excuse me. And then in addition to that, these cards also had the thermography ink, the metallic ink uh, that's shiny. It, they, we used a metallic ink. Thermography technically isn't metallic, but he chose a metallic ink. And you can have that raised or flat. Um, this is a paper book. This is how I order paper when I do custom jobs. Well, this not just how I do it. It's how everyone does it. Like, particularly, I use this more for invitations and stuff because I really try to focus on saving you money on printing. But things like invitations and custom business cards or custom pieces that you're making for marketing, um, there's thousands of different kinds of paper. And I investigate all that stuff for you and come up with some pretty cool ideas. Uh, business cards are way cheaper now than the prices in this book, so don't look at the prices. But um, it shows you some before and afters. You actually saw this one. This is a terrible picture. 
but you saw the sample of that one. This is his old business card, that one that I just showed you, metallic one. This is his first.